Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. Acts. By J. N. Darby. New Testament. The Book of Acts. Chapter 14. In Iconium, unbelieving Jews stir up the Gentiles against the work, worship offered and refused in Lystra, followed by stoning and departure. Their missionary labors continue in Iconium with the same opposition from the Jews who, incapable themselves of the work, stir up the Gentiles against those who are performing it. As long as it was only opposition, it was but a motive for perseverance. But, being warned in time of an assault that was planned against them, they depart to Lystra and Derby. There, having healed a cripple, they excite the idolatrous respect of these poor pagans. But, filled with horror, they turn them from their error by the energy of the Holy Ghost, faithful to the testimony of their God. Hither also the Jews follow them. Now, if man will not ally himself with the idolatry of their heart, and accept exaltation from men, the power of his testimony, which they began by admiring as long as they thought they could elevate man and acquire importance through their flatteries being accepted, ends by exciting the hatred of their hearts. The Jews bring this hatred into action and stir up the people, who leave Paul for dead. But he rises up and re-enters the city, remaining tranquility there another day, and on the morrow, he goes with Barnabas to Derby. The close of the first formal mission to the Gentiles, its results. Afterwards, they revisit the cities through which they had passed, and at Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, they confirm the disciples in the faith and teach them that they must pass through tribulation to inherit the kingdom. They choose elders for them, and passing through some other cities to the place where they had disembarked, they return to Antioch, from whence they had been commended to God for the work, causing great joy to the disciples there in that the door of faith was opened to the Gentiles. This is the first formal mission among the Gentiles where assemblies are formed, elders appointed by the apostles, and the hostility of the Jews to the grace of God, outside their nation and independently of their law, is distinctly marked. The word assumes a positive character among the Gentiles, and the energy of the Holy Ghost displays itself to this end, constituting and forming them into assemblies, establishing local rulers in them, outside and independently of the action of the apostles and assembly at Jerusalem, and the obligation of the law which was still maintained there. A question concerning this, that is, whether it could be allowed, is soon raised at Antioch. It is no longer the opposition of the Jews hostile to the gospel, but the bigotry of those who had embraced it, desiring to impose the law on the converted Gentiles. But the grace of God provides for this difficulty also, 